I'm Art Ebert, principal of Roosevelt Elementary School. We are so thankful that you're all able to join us in celebrating 95 years of education here at Roosevelt and the dedication of our bell tower. This event could not have happened without the tremendous support of our students, staff, parents, families, community, and alumni. I would also like to thank Robert Lasky and Michael Floyd for crafting such a beautiful bell tower. Thank you all. Did you know that when Roosevelt was built, that the following items did not even exist? Sunglasses, televisions, band-aids, traffic signals, lie detector tests, bulldozers, and listen to this, even bread slicers did not exist when Roosevelt was built. Wow. Five years from now, our current kindergarten students sat over here will be in fifth grade, and that will mark Roosevelt's 100th birthday. Imagine what they will go on to design and invent. Our school is fortunate to have been part of a vibrant community for 95 years. Our keynote speaker today has left an everlasting on the lives of those he educated. Please help me in welcoming former Roosevelt principal, Dr. Paul Lips. Well, it's been a little while since I was a teacher's It reminds me of our flag bowl ceremonies that we were doing. Uh, first of all, I think that we need to give a real round of applause to Mr. Ebert, the committee for the Roosevelt. Roosevelt School, the first real school that was ever built in Kegel Harbor was down that way in 1914. It also happened to be the year World War I started. I'm not sure what the connection is, but I thought I'd mention it. Um, when I was trying to think about what to say here about Roosevelt School, I thought of the people who are sitting right in front of me, and that's the students. And although we didn't have band-aids, and we may not have had signals, and we may not have had other things, back when uh, Roosevelt was first built, one thing that we did have, we had you. We had students, we had teachers, and above all, we had a caring community. And when you stop to think about what makes Roosevelt School so special, what makes it special is the community the school is in. There are a lot of schools in this area, whether it's in Waterford, West Bloomfield, and this is in Kegel Harbor, and of course Roosevelt's part of West Bloomfield. This school has a very unique position in that it is in the heart of a community. So it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter who you are, when you enter the doors of Roosevelt School, you are entering the community of Roosevelt. And that is a very unique experience. So, you may not remember a lot of things that are going to be said today. You may even not understand fully what this experience really means about something being 95 years old. But maybe 50 years from now, someone will say, hmm, what did you do on May 8, 2015? Didn't you go to that ceremony where they honored that wonderful school that's still in existence, that so many of us came from? that engineers and doctors and skilled tradesmen and people who work with their hands and their brains, some of the best minds in the country came out of Roosevelt School, that's what you're going to say. So I know that it's warm out. I want to leave you with three things. If you can remember this, it will take you a long way. Be kind to others. Respect yourself and others. And always do your best. It's a pleasure being here, and I thank you very much for letting me speak.
Paul, for that uh, introduction. I appreciate it. Yes, I'm John Scott, your Oakland County Commissioner. I've been representing this area now for uh, 12 years, my 13th year. And we have a proclamation uh, for Roosevelt School on your 95th anniversary. And it starts out, whereas the qualities of life for which we pride ourselves in Oakland County are in part represented by understanding school, outstanding schools which have enriched the quality of life for area young people for many years. And whereas Roosevelt School has provided exceptional education for Kegel Harbor students for 95 years and has been a valued resource in the community since its construction and dedication on September of 1920. And whereas Roosevelt School began with six classrooms and an office and to accommodate the growing population expanded throughout the 20s from only offering first through eighth grade classes to offering 11th and 12th grade classes. And whereas, we proudly join with the residents of Kegel Harbor and Oakland County to celebrate the 95th anniversary of Roosevelt School, which has educated generations of families in the area. It has undergone many renovations and expansions. It has significant accomplishments from competing for the Boys Class C State Basketball Championship in 1939, I still wasn't born, <laughs> to becoming a part of the West Bloomfield Consolidated Schools as part of the school district number five in 1949. I was born then. In 1996, Roosevelt School's parent community group created a playscape with over 400 volunteers and whereas throughout the years there have been numerous administrators and teachers who have contributed greatly to Roosevelt School. We celebrate with the families, the students, the educators, and the Kegel Harbor community to reflect on the lasting memories and extraordinary history of the Roosevelt School. And so now therefore, Michael Ginjo, the uh, chairman of the Oakland County Board of Commissioners, along with myself, John Scott, we hereby pro proclaim commendation to Roosevelt on the uh, special occasion of its 95th anniversary, attested to uh, this, the 8th day of May, 2015. And if, uh, Mr. Yep. There you are. Well, come on up. You better get a proclamation. So, the camera's ready. Here we go. And then next on the uh, list, we have for the recognition of the donors, Marianne Lysett. Right behind me. Boys and girls, I want to tell you that you're experiencing and creating history today. So this is very important. I'm going to give you a long list of names, and these are donors. This means that these people care about Roosevelt, and they care about you, and they've given money. So here are the business level donors. Barrett Building Company. Bellasinos, Bill Pertakis Photography, Bosco's, The Brew House, Bugs Beto Band, <laughs> <laughs> The Butterfly Jar Art Studio, Cass Lake Party Shop, Chili Pepper Tanny, Computer Works, Covenant Baptist Church, The Dairy Queen, <laughs> Detail Express, Geno's, the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society, High Performance Sports and Apparel, Jets Pizza of Kegel Harbor, Caribbean, Kegel Harbor Optimus Club, Lake Point Market, McDonald's of Sylvan Lake, Molly Maid, Outdoor Action Company, People Skate and Skateboard, Shannon's Dance Academy, Mr. Sid Rubin, Summit Sports, the 8th Count Dance Studio, the Dora Salon, the Lodge, the Magnet Program, the Warnett Law Firm, Vortex Martial Arts, winning imprints and custom trophies. The next list is Roosevelt Level Donors. The Babbitt McLean Family, Melanie and Rick Brown, the Chad family, Miss Dewey, the Diamond family, Art and Sarah Ebert, the Elson family, the Horvath family, the Jakubiak family, the Jennings family, the Joyce family, the Kirchis family, the Nolenberg family, 
the Law Family, the Lech Family, the Martin Family, the McCallion Family, the McDonald Family, Mrs. Anna Newman, the O'Shaughnessy Family, the Flom Family, the Victoria Randolph Family, the Razette Family, the Redmond Family, the Ross Family, and the Roth Family. The Shady Family, the Sipola Family, Ron and Pam Starr, Jordan and Levi Steinberg, the Severson Family, William Van Horn Jr., the Von Berthal Family, the Yano Family, and these boys and girls are the Husky Level donors, Mr. and Mrs. Dean Armstrong, Julie Baton and Family, Sydney and Craig Carson and family. The De La Car I'm sorry for mispronouncing this. De La Cartanoni family. The Hill family. The Isaac family. The Cajun Cheryl family. CJ and Darren Krause. The Landau, the Landau family. The Meldrum family. The John Murphy family. And in memory of Nicholas Flom. <laughs> Julian and Mark O'Brien and family, the Taylor family, the Turhall family, and in memory of Mrs. Wolverton. Remember, boys and girls, this was crafted by Mr. Robert Lansky, and he owns a business called the Railroad Ironworks. This is May the 8th, 2015. Thank you all for your generous support. the mayor of Kego Harbor. His name is Mr. Robert Kalman. Let's give a Roosevelt welcome to Mr. Kalman. Hi guys. Hi. You know, I was sitting back there listening and I said, boy, if I brought Jeff's pizza from McDonald's, I'd probably get more applause than if I brought this proclamation. Basically, this proclamation says Roosevelt is very important to you. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but how many of you guys know that when I first went to Google Harbor, the city council meetings were held in the same room you guys did lunch in? Do you guys know that? No. Anybody? No. No. Yeah, we used to have our city council meetings there. And when I was there, when I was first on council, people used to come up to me and they would say to me, Rob, do you know that I went to high school here? I said, this isn't high school, this is an elementary school. But, you know, a long time ago, when it was a really small building, people used to go to high school here. That's when I learned how many people have had their children and grandchildren. Any of you guys had your parents or grandchildren, grandparents go to school here? Anybody? Show that? You had a bunch of people out there. Wow. Yeah, multi-generational. You know, and that's why I learned that this high school, this elementary school is so important to the community. We've worked so hard to make sure you guys are taken care of. Right? So I want to thank all of you for coming. Thank you for having me. I wish everybody the best of success and best of luck. And when you guys go to Abbott or Orchard Lake Middle School, if you guys just remember, if you guys went to elementary school, all the teachers did such a great job for you. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I started off here as a little foreigner. I 
I had no idea what was to come. As the year grew on, I accepted the ways of school, and I was happy. I learned that after you play, you sing a kid up song. I learned that even though not everybody accepts who you are all the time, at Roosevelt we still treat each other like that. In each and every grade, I have learned more about I learned how close our community is. In third grade, when I came to Magnet, I got to create close friendships with kids I had never met before. When I move up to Abbott, I'll be, still be part of this supportive community. Roosevelt has amazed me, and it is a wonderful place. I have so many special memories here, and I have more to finish. I will be lucky to watch my little brother Victor go through what I did and see him grow and learn. I can help him understand how important everybody is here. He will see what I see. He will feel what I felt. He will think what I thought. He will go through what I went through. I will get to guide him. My sister Clara got to guide me when she was here. And this school was part of my family before I even went to school here. I will always be part of the Rosewood community. I have watched the school change and form into what it is now. I have seen people come and go, but our community is still a family. I feel proud to be part of this loving community. The bell tower will now serve as a reminder of who we are, to the people who used to go to Roosevelt, and to the staff who came and went. When people pass our school, we want them to know that everybody is welcome. When people look at the bell tower, they will think, we are all family here. I am so lucky to be part of this amazing community. Our next contest winner is Grace Redner. Hello, my name is Grace Redner. I would like to start out by saying that Roosevelt and the Roosevelt community means so much to me. When I first came to Roosevelt, I was very nervous because I only knew a few people. As my first week progressed, everyone was so friendly and welcome. I soon understood that we are all there to support each other. I think that the things I like the most about the Roosevelt community is that we all work as a team, there are many opportunities, the teachers are exceptional, and the memories that are made will last on What I mean by we all work as a team is there are many group projects and activities that we work on as a team, we as in the Roosevelt community. For example, the fourth graders are working together and combining their thoughts to design Roosevelt's eighth room. Another example is Mrs. Roth's class and Mrs. Arnoldi's class have math together. Combined to learn together. Those are just some of the ways everyone in the Roosevelt community works as a team. There are many opportunities in the Roosevelt community. Everyone is given chances to do what they love and what they are passionate about. There are ample opportunities to shine, including Roosevelt's talent show. Anyone can participate in it is a great way to show the community what unique skills you have. In addition, now that Roosevelt is becoming a steam school, there will be more opportunities like this talent show. I really think the opportunities help students learn because they are encouraged to show how they can contribute to the community in a distinct way. Lastly, the teachers at Roosevelt are a special group. I for one don't think I will ever forget the open, energetic, and committed teachers at Roosevelt. The teachers are a big reason for the opportunities present and for the memories that students share. The teachers will do extra things to help make every student's learning experience phenomenal. This is where the memories happen. When the teachers continually go above and beyond, memories are made that will
The Roswell community is important to me. My teacher is like my mother. She cares for me. She watches over me. So I don't be mean. She makes sure others are mean to me. My teacher is playful. She doesn't to you if something happens. She she teaches lessons of religion. She gives us hope. My teacher is playful, caring, and the best teacher in the world for you. In the world. For all these reasons, Roswell is important to me. Caden Washington, Mr. Lee Thurgood. winners go to the bell tower and while we're getting everything ready there Gina Gregory from the Historical Society is going to talk about the history of the bell good afternoon everyone I'm Gina Gregory president of the Greater West Bloomfield Historical Society I bring best wishes and congratulations from the Historical Society members we applaud your commitment to keep your school history alive. Roosevelt School celebrates 50 years of education in this community. It still looks very much like the original school built in 1920, but it has expanded in size and its programs. It has been updated to best educate students and is still a vibrant center for education today. This bell is thought to be from the Kego Harbor School first built in 1914 and located on the curb at Orchard Lake Road. The bell was housed in a bell tower high on the roof of a building. By pulling a rope which moved a wheel or lever arm, the bell was rung. It might, the bell wheel would look like this. There are people here who rang the bell today when it was Kego Harbor School, perhaps, is Ray Pace here. Well, I have another person who did ring the bell when it was a community library, and that is Harry Buffmeyer. In about 1940, he was a little kid, he was six or less, and his great aunt, Carrie Hosner, or Brown, was the librarian there. She lived in the basement apartment with a handyman as well, and they took care of the library together. Let's congratulate Harry for still remembering he rang this very same bell. And there he is. So it is fitting that this bell is here now as we celebrate Roosevelt School's 95th anniversary. Ringing this bell reminds today's students to honor the past and get ready for an exciting future. Thanks for your commitment to keep local history safe for all to enjoy. Thank you. I 
going, keep going. You got more security.